Goodman Precision Engineering in Milton Keynes is a very forward-thinking company. They've just invested in a premises that's two and a half times the size of their previous one, and they've just bought two new machining centers. But at the heart of all of it is the program software that they use that is Hypermill. Mark, congratulations on your move. Now, wh where did the journey with Hypermill begin? Well, basically, I used to work for a uh, Formula One engine manufacturer, and so they went through a process to choose the um, CAD CAN system that they was going to use. And I knew the guys in the programming department very well. I was very confident that they were going to be able to do that uh, successfully. And so they they looked at look, virtually all all the uh, options out there. They narrowed it down to two. They then actually manufactured a couple of parts, so they had the time it took to program it, time it took to machine it, the quality of the machining. And so because I knew they'd gone through that process and how well they'd done it, um, I was happy to choose the same software that they did, and they chose Hypermill. So a pro proven process, essentially. Yes, yeah, so basically it was all done for me. <laughs> That's a nice position. So what is it that you use Hypermill for, then? We program absolutely everything with it, as far as milling is concerned, three axis and five axis. Um, it's a fantastic software for simultaneous machining, yes. apart from all other types of machining. And obviously there are turning packages and other options that, that go with it as well. So what's the work that you're doing then? Uh, it's mainly been Formula One, but then there's all these other types of um, hybrid technology work that we do for companies. And so it, it's, it's extremely useful, because a lot of the parts that we make are free, completely three dimensional. Uh, some, a lot of them are made in one hit because you can't hold them in any way to do a second op. You have to make them in one hit. And so Hypermill software is perfect for it. Right. Well, I know Paul's upstairs with Paul, so he's going to talk in depth about Hypermill. And then I'm going to come back downstairs and find out from yourself as to why you're so forward thinking. So I'm with Paul Gould now in the CAD CAM office, and we're going to learn a little bit more about the detail of Hypermill's, uh, the Hypermill software. Paul, um, What's important for me here is to try and get across the point that regardless of, of the simplicity of the parts that you're making, yep. Open Minds Hypermill software can still provide a real benefit. So maybe could you go into detail about how that has helped you and how that could help others? Yeah, sure. I mean, I've been using Hypermill probably for about 10 years now. Um, <clears throat> you're constantly learning, but like, you know, you're always finding like shortcuts of like, you know, how to make things like much faster and be more efficient and uh, even since working at this company uh, we found like shortcuts of ways of like creating our tool library with our con tool consignment which we can uh, generate like the tool list like you know for the setter it can be uh, <coughs> creating just all the you know the, the correct uh, tool for, for the application of that job with the tool holders and you know the tool length that will be sticking out and along with bringing in vices into the CAD, uh, so doing our stock like collisions and, you know, so there's a lot that's involved. You know. Because most people are well aware that when it comes to five axis machining, which you do here, whether it be simultaneous or, or three plus two, um, Hypermill is, is perfectly suited to that. But if you had just a vertical machining center and you were trying to create and craft uh, an application on screen at the machine compared to Hypermill. Where are the gains with this software? You mentioned the tooling, but maybe give us a, a broader overview. I, th I think it's just far, far faster, even doing it on CAD. Like uh, being on the machine, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, there's probably quick and easy ways to do it on a machine, but to actually have a program that you can do in Hypermill, you're not like limited to one machine or it's type of like uh, the software that that machine uses. So we have like a post processor in, in so we can like do the program in Hypermill and it can be sent to any any machine at all. So, you know, if you're in, like, in some sort of production where you need to move jobs from machine to machine, then it's, it's ideal to be doing it in CAD and it's fast as well. It's just so fast. And what about the comparison between creating the, the component, let's put the tool in aside and the work holding aside, but actually crafting the part on the CAM or on the, the CAD CAM compared to doing it, let's say, on a, a uh, you know, a, a control that's got manual guide on it or something like that, where yeah. are the differences there is the advantages? I mean, you, you mean that to, talking like about CAD itself, to actually make a CAD model, it's very, very simple too. So you can make a CAD model uh, extrusion, but we could um, yeah, make, just make an extrusion of a simple part and I can show you how we can get a very quick setup into like, a, you know, starting a program. Uh, so that we're bringing in devices, you know, maybe some standard tools which we have in our machines. Uh, and then, yeah, maybe put one toolpath over it just to sort of show you how quickly we can get like 
from you know from scratch to um, you know to actually generating a program. Yeah. And, and if we had to qualify that in terms of a time, do you, do you think? And I know it's hard to say because it depends on the part. But if it was a simple part. Uh, machine faces, a bit of drilling, threading, you know, s simple parts. Um, yeah. Would you say that you could potentially get that machine, that VMC machining, in maybe half the time you could uh, by doing it at the machine, thanks to some software like yes, I, I, I was definitely, yeah. I think, you know, because we have our setup already with the tools and you know, with the, you know, we had the speeds and feeds set up for all those tools. So, you know, there wouldn't be too much thinking about on the machine, you know, what you're trying to calculate and, uh, you know, with a tapping speed or a thread mill, um, you know, drilling speeds. It's, we kind of have it all set up for different materials. So we can choose our material. We can choose, um, you know, steel, alley, titanium, you know, and yeah, most of these tools we have already set up for, you know, the speeds and feeds for that application. Yeah. Okay, so, so and, and does it then really look at optimising the way you make that part as well? So it could in turn, if you were doing it at the machine, you would be predicting what the best feeds and speeds are to make the part. Yeah. But are we then saying that the cam is taking that away from you and making the machining cycle far faster as well? It can do. I mean, if you're using like the correct like, speeds and feeds for that material, uh, but you know, sometimes um, you have to sort of like use your own initiative in, in some parts. You know, you can't uh, always go full whack on you know something that may be like really thin or you know. So you are using a bit of experience with that. But where you've like if you're using a three-axis machine, if you've got like a second op. Um, it's what Hypermill is really great at, is like creating the stock for the second op. So, uh, you know, you'd, uh, rather than trying to calculate where your starting point would be to like rough off the backside of it, it would uh, it'd already know where that stock is. So it could like, you know, you could just like tell it, okay, stop, go leave on half a millimeter and rough out everything down, you know, down to a certain Z level. And uh, yeah, so fast, you know, you don't have to think about it too much because the stock's there, so. And what about the strategies overall that the, the software can help you with things like tr trachoidal milling. Do you get? Do, do you use those? Oh yes, no, trachoidal milling is like no, is very favourable in uh, in certain applications, especially on titanium. We find where you're trying to sort of glide across the material a bit more, so you can use the full length of like the cutter uh, to you know do full depth, like full sort of like to use the whole flute of the cutter. But you're doing like a, a smaller step over on on um, on your Y X Y. Um, but the strategies it comes up with and it's just, it works it out so so brilliantly. It's perfect. So, you know, to and do you think this this adds to um, less tool wear some of the strategies that they incorporate does that d does that become a factor as well because the cost of the consumables obviously you want to reduce yes uh, i mean if you, you know if you're just using like a standard end mill and you're you're stepping down using like tr like conventional like roughing strategies uh, you could be using the first two or three mil of the cutter so you're wearing the cutter at the end of the cutter um by using tricordal milling you know you're using the full length flute so you'll get like an even wear over the cutter and um, yeah that's you know it's going to be get, the tool life's going to be there so any yeah. others other than tricordal milling that stand out that you use um, a lot there's there's a few like you no know, we could use some five axis like simultaneous cycles for certain uh, things or strategies trying to get into you know using a full five axis machine getting into corners and things it's uh, it can become a lot faster programming uh, but we use like you know high feed strategies as well for roughing um, well, there's, you know, there's a certain strategies you tend to favour, you know, uh, I think everyone has their favourite, you know, when they, their, their style of programming maybe, but... Um, and have you heard of Virtual Machine? Virtual Machine, yeah, I've not used it much yet, but uh, yeah, but we use... Uh, have, have you got it? Yes, it's, it's in with our software, yeah, we have it, so yeah. Something that yeah. you will look to roll out at some point? Yeah, I think it's something that we want to look at all, all possibilities within Hypermill. And, uh, and in so your interpretation, what does Virtual Machine mean? Because it's one of these things that Hypermill are talking a lot about. I think uh, really what it is is having your whole like CAD model of your machine in in with um, along with your model because like, at the moment we just put our vices in uh, spindles but you know we can have so much more and um, with virtual machine um, otherwise I think the possibilities are endless it could be uh, no full full simulation of like you know the machine and you know collision checks and and possibly like go further than that whether it could be like um, you know a lights off kind of uh, machining really where you can sort of like see yeah the strategies of like you know would you ever use anything else than hypermill no it's the only one i've ever used and but like from people i've spoke to who've used other um you know like cad cam softwares they they've all said that this is the best so i can't see that i'd really want to use anything else you know it's uh, yeah it's great i love it and there's so many ways you're making your company more efficient isn't there yeah definitely uh, one of one of those is that we're looking to do more uh, PPAP work, which is production part approval process, so we can do more production parts for the automotive industry. We already do lots of prototype parts, and we have already done some uh, PPAP work, but we're looking to in improve that. And we've brought on a consultant to help us 
produce the paperwork just to make us that bit more efficient in that process. Right, so there's so many ways that you're improving a business. I mean, going to a facility two and a half times the size previously, would you, what would you say about Hypermill then? What ultimately is it doing for you and your business? Oh, well, right from the start of my business 10 years ago, it's just helped us to be, you know, produce extremely good quality part programs. That's what it does. It's a tool for that process, and that's exactly what it does. It's, it's, it's probably the, the best uh, CAD CAM system there is out there.